Hey everyone, just thought I'd do a, just a quick video. Um, I'm back home at my sticks and bricks. It feels huge after living in the van up at RTR. Um, so more of a motivation to get rid of stuff. I now want to try to say that I will have the house up for sale by April. So I've got a couple of months here to try to get rid of as much or as many of my possessions as possible. I'm already down to bare minimum furniture. It's all the little stuff in boxes and drawers and cabinets and collections and family memorabilia that has really got me um, stalled or stagnant. Um, I want to say hi to all the new subscribers. If you subscribe to my channel thinking that, that there was going to be all kinds of exciting or hot topic videos, there are not going to be. It's just me. Um, so I won't be surprised if a lot of you leave, but if you stay, thanks. I appreciate it. And I hope you find something that makes you laugh or makes you feel good when you're watching the videos. Um, definitely feeling design changes coming for the van, which those of you that know me, I've said this before, never intended for this passenger side bed to be a permanent fix, but I took what I had at the time and made a bed base. Um, but uh, the side with the dresser is great. The driver's side bed. The side that's a chest, even though the mattress is lightweight, it's just such a hassle to lift the mattress and lift. I now wish that I had a slide-in capability. And I really hate to say this, but I think that the sink may end up going. Um, the sink cabinet, anyway. I got to see people that had the uh, fold-down flat little wash basins and uh, that just seems to make so much more sense if you want to have space. I'm facing the reality that um, I may be in this van with two giant dogs. Uh, my dog Sadie and Dora who snore in the background usually but they're not in the van right now. Um, and uh, they're 13 and 9 years old but me waiting around for one of them to die, it just seems so horrible. And why shouldn't they be able to be in the van sometimes too? So uh, we'll see how that goes. If I actually just had this bed gone and had some cabinetry over here and then the option to have a second bed or the bed made into one big bed, that would be ideal. And again, trying to figure out what to do with the sink debating on the old fridge um, and the fact that I do now have a new uh, walker. I used to always have a walker that I just got at the thrift store and back in October I told my doctor, my primary care doctor, I said, you know what, I have two insurances. I have Medicare and I have TRICARE for life. Why am I wheeling around a broken walker from the thrift store that doesn't have any brakes and has a seat that's all wrapped up in electrical tape. And it took three months, but I do have a walker now, but it takes up space in the van. So what's more important, the sink or the walker? For me, it's probably gonna be the walker, <laughs> at least space-wise. One other thing, if you remember, <laughs> like a month or so ago, I had started up the 30-day plan and was really good for two weeks and then holidays and other stuff started happening. So I now have to admit to myself that I am not good at 30 day plans, but maybe I can be good at a seven day or 14 day plan. So that's what's gonna be probably coming up next as far as maintaining the health. I really like the book that I made, the notebook and the pages that uh, held me accountable work terrific. Um, it's just that it's, I'm such a procrastinator and it's very easy for me to put something aside for myself when I'm helping or doing for others. That, um, and that's just an excuse, I know. But for me, it's very real. So um, I think if not before February 1st, at least by February 1st, I will start up on a new plan 
of action for me. I've just gotten some uh, medical referrals from my doctor for both physical therapy and for aqua therapy. So I will be starting that up too and those things are huge for me, for my back and for my legs and so I'm excited about that too. So anyway, I will definitely edit this down shorter <laughs> than it is but I just wanted to say hi to everybody, um, to new subscribers, thank you. Um, I hope you stick around. Um, this is not a big channel. I never intended it for to be to be a big channel, um, but I certainly like a whole lot of the people that do check in and comment. So I appreciate you guys. Take care. Bye.